Welcome to our exploration of the enigmatic red planet, Mars. For centuries, this fascinating world has captivated human imagination, symbolizing both the allure of discovery and the quest for understanding our place in the cosmos. From early telescopic observations that sparked speculation about canals, to the robotic explorers currently traversing its surface, the pursuit of knowledge about Mars has evolved dramatically. Today, we delve into one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in planetary science, the presence of water on Mars. This discovery not only reshapes our understanding of the planet, but also raises profound questions about the potential for life beyond Earth. As we journey through this narrative, we will explore the scientific discoveries, the implications for life, and the ethical considerations that accompany our exploration of this distant world. Our story begins in the 1960s and 70s with the Mariner missions, which marked humanity's first serious foray into Martian exploration. These pioneering missions provided crucial data about Mars, revealing its rocky surface and complex geology. Initially, the harsh, dry landscape led scientists to believe that Mars was lifeless, a barren world devoid of water. Yet, the quest for water, a fundamental component for life, never ceased. Fast forward to 2001, when Mars' Odyssey orbited the planet and made a remarkable discovery. By detecting hydrogen and water ice just below the Martian surface, it hinted at hidden reservoirs that could potentially support life. This revelation sparked a new wave of exploration, reigniting hope that Mars might still hold secrets beneath its dusty exterior. In 2006, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, took the search for water to new heights. It revealed the existence of dark streaks on Martian slopes, known as recurring slope lineae, or RSLs. These fascinating formations suggested that liquid water might flow intermittently during warmer months. The implications of these findings were staggering. Could Mars actively harbor liquid water today? The excitement reached a fever pitch in 2015 when MRO scientists confirmed the presence of hydrated salts, essentially minerals that contain water, on the Martian surface. This indicated that briny liquid water could exist in some form, raising the tantalizing possibility of life. Most recently, the Perseverance rover has been meticulously exploring ancient lake beds and river deltas, gathering compelling evidence that liquid water once flowed freely on Mars. The geological features observed today serve as a window into a past where Mars may have been more Earth-like with vast oceans and a climate suitable for life. So, what do these extraordinary discoveries mean for the possibility of life on Mars? To answer this question, we must consider the fundamental requirements for life as we know it. Liquid water, carbon-based molecules, and a suitable environment to sustain biological processes. The evidence points to a time when Mars had a much more hospitable climate characterized by flowing rivers and expansive lakes. This tantalizing prospect opens up a world of possibilities. Could microbial life have thrived in these ancient bodies of water? If life ever existed on Mars, it could have left traces in the sediment and rock, patiently waiting for scientists to uncover them. Moreover, the existence of subsurface water raises the exciting possibility that life, in some form, might still exist today. Imagine extremophiles, organisms that can survive in extreme conditions on Earth, finding a refuge in Martian aquifers shielded from the harsh surface conditions. The discovery of liquid water, even in limited quantities, suggests that Mars is not the lifeless world we once envisioned, but a place where life could arise or endure. The potential for discovering such life challenges our understanding of biology itself. 
It compels us to broaden our definition of what constitutes life and where it can exist. Are we prepared to redefine our notions based on new evidence? The prospect of Martian life also encourages astrobiologists to investigate similar conditions on exoplanets, potentially reshaping our search for extraterrestrial life across the universe. The discovery of water on Mars has far-reaching implications for future exploration. Planned missions, such as the Mars Sample Return Project, aim to bring Martian soil and rock samples back to Earth for detailed analysis. These samples could reveal not just the planet's history, but also whether it ever supported life, providing insights that could transform our understanding of planetary evolution. The technologies developed for detecting water and analyzing Martian soil have significantly advanced our capabilities in space exploration. Innovations in remote sensing, robotic drilling, and astrobiological analysis have opened new avenues for research. For instance, the techniques employed to study the Martian environment can be applied to other celestial bodies, enhancing our knowledge of the solar system as a whole. Moreover, the search for life on Mars is not just about Mars itself. It serves as a testing ground for technologies and methodologies that will be crucial for exploring other planets and moons such as Europa and Enceladus, which are also believed to harbor water beneath their icy crusts. Each discovery on Mars is a stepping stone toward answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we venture further into space, ethical considerations emerge as crucial components of our exploration. The potential for discovering life on Mars raises significant questions about planetary protection. How do we ensure that we don't inadvertently contaminate this pristine environment with Earth microbes? The risk of cross-contamination is a serious concern for scientists, and strict protocols are essential to preserve Mars' natural state for future study. Additionally, as we ponder the possibility of terraforming Mars or establishing human colonies, we must reflect on our responsibilities as stewards of both our planet and others. What legacy do we wish to leave behind in our exploration of the cosmos? The decisions we make today about Mars could have lasting impacts not only on our understanding of the universe, but also on our relationship with our own planet. The ethical considerations also extend to the search for extraterrestrial life. If we were to find life on Mars, how would we approach it? What rights would such life forms have? These questions challenge us to think deeply about our place in the universe and our responsibilities toward other life forms, no matter how small or different they may be. In conclusion, the discovery of water on Mars transforms our understanding of the planet and the potential for life beyond Earth. It ignites excitement and curiosity, reminding us of the intricate connections between worlds. As we continue to explore Mars, we stand on the brink of groundbreaking discoveries that could redefine our place in the universe. The implications of our findings extend beyond mere science they touch upon our philosophical understanding of life, our responsibilities as explorers, and the future we envision for our species. Each discovery challenges us to reconsider what we know and inspires future generations to dream of the stars. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Red Planet. If you're as fascinated by the possibilities as we are, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more explorations of the cosmos. Together, let's unravel the mysteries of our universe and the potential for life beyond our own, forging a path of exploration that honors both our planet and the vast cosmos that awaits us.